All right, what's up guys? I've got the legend, Mr. Newman, out with me today. We are in the old, abandoned Inslee High School. Now this thing is slated for demolition this week, actually. And we wanted to come through one more time, show you guys around a little bit. Uh, we have a ton of photos before the fire occurred back in 2018, 2019 maybe and never did any videos so we thought we would come through do some videos let you guys see what it looks like and uh, let you get a sense of how beautiful these things were constructed back then so what we have right here if i'm not mistaken this was originally well this was the original gym and then back in the 1940s, 1950s, uh, they built an additional gym. And I want to say this, this gym right here was converted to the, uh, the girls' gym. Um, but you can see, I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of stuff still in here. Hopefully they're going to salvage. But man, I mean, this is just a beautiful, beautiful school. This right here appears to be the old driver's ad. But this right here is one of those car simulators. Now you can see it has all the, the workings for your pedal brake clutch, I'm assuming. That's back when uh, people still could drive a manual. <laughs> and yeah, this is still just sitting in here. That's really cool. But in here you just have boxes and boxes of textbooks. You have these radiator heaters. Just these beautiful, beautiful windows too. Back before the fire occurred. Uh, this school was probably the most beautiful abandoned school that I have seen. So the school was founded in 1901 and the building was built in 1908. And it had almost a 100 year tenure, uh, but the school closed down, the school system consolidated many of the schools in the area. And 2006 was the last official year that the school was open. You can just see the gorgeous detail. Just a spectacular, beautiful building. I mean, even the detail on the ceiling in the auditorium, just down to the fine little details, just a thing of beauty. So the goal of this video is just to show you guys what the school looks like before it is demolished. There were a ton of students former students, and I mean, you know, the, when the fire occurred, I mean, this just really, really hit home. I mean, this was, this was their, I mean, alma mater. I mean, this was, this was Inslee High School. And I mean, just to see it, you know, just a standing tall and proud, I mean, for a hundred years, and then to lose it to a fire, 
it's just heartbreaking. Now, like I said, I'm going to periodically put some photos in this video of back what it looked like before the fire. And from what I heard, I'm not sure, uh, but a storm came and it ignited some of the old newspaper and flammables inside the science lab and that's where the fire started. If you can see on this side this is where you start seeing some of the fire damage. Now the science lab was by far my most favorite location in the school and it was located right here and I mean it's just completely completely gone I mean you can't even go through but it had everything from human skeletons um, to birds to any sort of biological or anatomical model you could think of. And for that reason alone, that's why I want to include some of those photos, just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So one of the most dangerous things you, in, you can encounter in these abandoned locations, you come across people like this. I don't know what he's doing in here, but I'm gonna run him out of here. Bro, that bro. actually, that actually, oh crap, you know, <laughs> I saw the shadow and I thought it was gonna hit my head. That actually with you running made a pretty good horror type uh, movie. Why can't we just get in the running car? <laughs> You have to go upstairs. <laughs> so like I said, Jeff's with me. Um, the school was organized, like I said, in 1901. And uh, Jeff was actually one of the, uh, the builders of the school. He constructed it by hand um, back in 1908. <laughs> but it is really heartbreaking to see the devastation that occurred here. Um, I really, really, really wished it could have been saved somehow. Just unfortunately was not in the cards. You just have to wonder how much asbestos is in these walls. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, I've always loved the different color bulletin board papers in this room. And surprisingly, what I've noticed, Jeff, is not every single radiator heater has been stolen. Now this right here would be a good Christmas present for my kids. Now we have Century 21 accounting. I'm gonna say this right here was more than likely not Common Core. What would you think, Jeff? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. Not in 2006. The thing about those accounting books, you know, you can't do accounting without a calculator that's the size of your desk.
that was a must have. Let's see if we can traverse through this maze of uh, records and trash and whatever else is up here. Almost have the perfect school setup right here. Oh, that's great. That is awesome right there. Martin Luther King Jr. Just look at the iconic history of this. You got Frederick Douglass. Rosa Parks. That's just awesome. And then the doctor himself. All right, it looks like we have some 2003 legends right here. Looks like uh, from Parker, you've got uh, Carver, Inslee, Jackson Olin. Just frozen in time on the whiteboard. The last writings that will ever be written on there. Let's see. And unfortunately, I would say maybe a third of the school was left that can be explored. Just have all the fire damage. And places you can no longer get to. This is a pretty cool shot right here, Jeff. You've got the lockers just exposed to the elements. You've got the tree growing up through it. Looks like some Civil War magazines. Now I know they probably didn't have it when you were in school. But my favorite time was when the teacher would roll the cart with that big box TV on with a VHS cassette. And we knew that we were going to be watching movies. We are making our way to the Freshman Academy. There was a safe somewhere in here. I like those uh, old fashioned doors with the fans on them. You've lost the Inslee Highlands Church. Uh, it's just been a lot of unfortunate neglect. So a, uh, to a once great city, you know, it goes hand in hand with the mines and the furnaces. You know, that stuff is what built this. And, uh, you know, just to see it be lost, I mean, it's just, it's heartbreaking. We've got the courtyard out here. That's just overgrown. But you know, I mean, you you take a lot of these places for granted. You know, you explore them. You think they'll always be here, and then something happens, and next thing you know, it's being demolished. Made our way to the lunchroom down here. It's pretty dark. 
but Jeff has about a thousand flashlights. So we are always good when it comes to uh, light sources. You can see some of this equipment. I guess you would say freezers, maybe some large, what, popcorn makers. You think they had yeah. it that good? Uh, <laughs> maybe not that big. Yeah, just... It's sad, man. You know, like I said, you know, you just take all these places for granted, you know. I mean, think about all the, you know, we've, we've been doing this. I mean, I know you've been doing it since the 1700s. But, you know, just, just think of all the places. I mean, hell, since you and I have started to explore together, think about all the places that's been lost. Yeah. You know, it's just, you always take it for granted. Yeah, I want to say this uh, This down here was the administration area. I mean, I guess technically everything would be... Everything would technically be administration in a school. And unfortunately, you can see these iron stairs. Um, unfortunately, it was a victim to the fire. Did you take any photos of the courtyard? I mean, it's pretty overgrown, but it might make for a decent photo or two. So yeah, we're going to make our way back through the auditorium. It's starting to get a little, uh, little dark out there, as Jeff makes it really dark in here. And this is going to conclude the uh, the video of Inslee High. I mean, you know, there's really not much left to show you guys. Uh, like I said, I mean, I'll, I'll piece some of the, the photos that we got from before the fire. Uh, but hopefully this last walkthrough for the people that, uh, that went to school here, maybe this will bring some sort of closure or uh, happiness to, to see it one last time before she comes down. Um, turn around and pan one more time and that's gonna be a wrap guys um, hope you guys enjoyed it um, we'll be back very very soon